guys so we are finally doing the dog dna test thing um i guess that's what it's called yeah dog dna test and i will show you which kit we ordered for our dog after talking to several of y'all this is the one we decided on the embark dog dna test so it will show the breed the family tree and um this is not the one there's another step up from this i believe that shows um like possible health risks and stuff but we were mainly interested in finding her breed and any kind of relatives so slid it out of the box here and here's what it comes with it's got activate your account which i'm about to do here and then um, you swab your dog. It gives you the instructions here. This is the part I'm most worried about because she's very antsy pantsy. So we will see. Here's our swab. It's got a code on here that um, under my fingers that we will put in um, that will help us track her results. So I just created an account and now it is asking for our dog's name. And other info. So I made the, it says kit activation is complete. Now I've got her tube and I am about to pull it out and we're gonna try and get this in her mouth <laughs> and get it in the test tube thing and then they've got it super easy steps. Then you pull out your little envelope here for mailing. Did you say babe? I said for the Malinois option, you should be able to mail in your Malinois and they swab it for you and then send your dog back <laughs> so that you're spared <laughs> the challenge of trying to swab a Belgian Malinois. Who's potentially, very, you think she is. Potentially, she might not be, but she's very skittish <laughs> and just scaredy dog. So, I mean. She won't like us putting something in her mouth, She will not like she? anything going in her mouth. She'll think we're trying to kill her. Okay. okay I'm setting my tube here, so hopefully it's gonna Give me a hug. <laughs> Come here, fam. You jumped at her. No, I was trying to give she her. She was scared. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for giving her. Will you take medicine? She's in there. Pop, she's in our bedroom. Okay, so I finally got enough on there, I think, after like a long time, way too long. I just, I never put anything in her mouth, so of course she's going to be scared. She's like, what are you doing? You're not the vet. And so she'll obey other commands, but I have not ever asked her to allow me to put anything in her mouth. But I think we have enough on there. So um, 
I ended up giving her a teeny piece of turkey with it, so they're gonna say she's half turkey and half Malinois probably, but I'm really, really hoping that there's enough on here that it comes back with something for us. So I'm super excited to see what they say, and I think I got it enough coated here that we'll get some kind of DNA, and she finally chilled out for me. She still didn't want me to open her mouth and just let me go in there. She's just a very cautious dog, so it took me a while, but I got it in there a lot. It just, I couldn't just go in there and stay in there for 30 seconds. Like, she wasn't having that, so. Okay, so that 30 to 60 seconds lasted a lot longer than 30 to 60 seconds. I am inserting the swab into the tube with the tip facing down. So here is this, putting it in there. So I got the cap on, I'm gonna shake it 10 times and I think I shook it more than 10 times. Okay, it's all purple in there now and reward your job on a, your dog on a job well done. So we gave her some supper, we'll probably give her, well, she'll probably get some more turkey. and it says to mail it. So we've already activated it, swabbed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add our address here and then mail it. So we did all the steps and now we're ready to put it in the mail. Yeah, now she's chill. Now she's she knows, she can sense us too, and she just knows. So what do you think we're gonna get? Well, because there might have been some turkey in there, like you said, half turkey. <laughs> but I think she'll be at least 50% Malinois. Really? That much? Based on how crazy she is? Crazy she is. I bet 50%. What else maybe, do you maybe, think? Maybe like, well, maybe like 40%, maybe 40%. What do you think she would have in 35%. there? 35%. Other than Malinois? I don't know, Jean's. Like animal genes, like I don't know, she could be like 30%, have some dominant stuff yeah. that makes her look more than 30%, so maybe 30%. Yeah. What was that? I really, I really have no that idea. That said some kind of breed that was like shorter hair, something. I don't remember what it was. There was some other kind of breed that Somebody, she mentioned. Oh, oh, hound, hound. Some kind of hound, they thought. Oh, some kind of hound. No, or is that what it was? I thought there was, yeah, maybe. maybe it was some, but that didn't specify, they just said some, some kind of hound. We'll see, it'll be interesting, I can't wait. Yeah. It's so exciting. So they said it takes like a month or so, I think, to get the results back. Um, so, it's exciting. Oh, and we just got this in the mail today, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. today. So we're sending it off as soon as possible, so that way maybe we'll get the results sooner rather than later. Maybe before Christmas, because Christmas is what? 28 days away? Yay, yay. So this is cool. I guess afterwards you can still upgrade. Um, so to like the one with the health and traits. So that is cool. Like you can make that decision afterwards. guys so i just wanted to update you really quick we um it's been 10 days since we sent off finna's embark um dna kit test thing um and we just received an email saying that it has made it and it is on its way to the lab and it'll take they said it'll take two to four weeks now to get the results back so i'm super excited to see, maybe we'll get it in time for Christmas. We'll see. Hey guys, so it has been three weeks and four days since we sent off Finna's 
um, Embark test and we just got a text message and an email saying that her results are ready. So I am super pumped. I texted Derek and was like, do not check the email without me. So we can do it together and we're gonna video it and share it with y'all. Yay! Hey, Derek just made it home and right. we are going to um, open up this email and see <coughs> what Finna's results are. It says, Finna's results are ready. Okay, so it says, guess Finna's breeds or jump right to her breeds, her breed results. We are gonna click on guess her breed. Today it says a perfect mix of two breeds. Start breed game. Let's start the game instead of pushing play on that. She's not as much. Do we that. think she is German Shepherd? No. Hmm. Mm. I think she's Belgian. Depends on how specific they get. But. No. 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 Uh, I say. Maybe. Yes. No. What if like no. her parents? I'll say yes because maybe they just the people at the shelter were just going off her looks and if she was a perfect she mix and she got mixed with something like really op really different than a German Shepherd that it might make her look like a yeah. short haired I mean it make, might make her look like a Belgian Melon Yeah. she's just a short haired German, German Shepherd. Shepherd okay let's like. see true Ooh, wow. she has then it has 58.2% German Shepherd dog maybe this helps explain a little why she looks or acts the way she does She's confident, courageous. <laughs> what do you think? I think this is funny. This is hilarious. <laughs> I'm curious to know oh. what her... Um, if she's Malibu or not. Yeah, what her 41.8% is. Okay, it says... How do you feel about that German Shepherd reveal? Uh, I don't think we're surprised by the Shepherd part of it. We thought she had some kind of Shepherd, but we were told maybe because of what she's mixed with that we still don't know that she was Belgian Malinois. Okay, it's let's probably something see. short. What do you think? Um, mm. I don't know. We'll see. Sure. Okay. Half German Shepherd, maybe half like Malinois. Maybe like or something crazy. Oh, that would be so crazy. Or like yeah. Lab or like lab. who knows nah, what. I don't, maybe like, I don't know. She's thinner than a German Shepherd though. So. Yeah, something small. Like let's see. Some what if she's a, a maybe, Rottweiler? Maybe some kind of a hound. What if she's maybe. a Rottweiler? They, the lady did say yeah. What if she's a Rottweiler? Let's see. Okay. Hey, here we go. Next. Gray wolf. False. False. Our analysis found no noticeable traces of gray wolf DNA. Am I? I'm like, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. This is so fun. This is yeah, so exciting. Is, okay, here we go. Next. Hey, question number three. Here we go. American fox hound. Oh. oh. I'll say true. Let's say true. I don't know, but there's, see, there's one more, and they said she's a mix of two, maybe. So maybe um, it's false. We'll see. Oh, fox false. hound is false. Hey, what do you think? We're on our last Maybe. question. Fourth question. <laughs> what do you think? I think they heard us say hounds. They just threw in a hound for breed number Let's three. See. How do you know there's one more? Doberman. Doberman. What? Interesting. Because she has the pointy ears. No. Seriously? I was about to say Doberman, what? too. I couldn't think of it. I was trying to think of what my dog what was think, growing true? up. She was part Doberman. Yes, true. What in the world? Yeah, she... <laughs> She's a Doberman German Shepherd. Maybe this will help explain a little why she looks or acts the way she does. <laughs> Doberman are a strong and athletic breed that are built to guard and protect. Doberman named Cappy saved the lives of 250 U.S. Marines on Guam in 1944 by alerting them when Japanese troops were nearby. Mm. What? What? I was, How do you feel, babe? This is what I, I was about to say earlier. And, people, and you're going to say, oh, yeah, that's easy to say now. But I was thinking, so I was trying to think of the name of uh, what my dog was part, was part Doberman. Oh, really? And Dobermans are a little bit smaller. So, well. See, look at that But this is 32.1. There's still something else in her, though. Let's see. Okay, one second. Okay, so let's watch this now and see what else she is. Oh, and Freddie's going to be sad. Wait just a second. Super Mutt? 
Wow, that was lame. <laughs> Super mutt. <laughs> I thought they were going to tell us another breed, but I mean, that is a pretty good, Just, like, I she's mean, not yeah. very, like, she's that's pretty pure. Yeah. Pretty well, pure between the two. Like 10% something well, else. It, it, says yeah. it says 100% finna. Yes, 100% finna. finna. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I was like, oh, okay, what are they going to tell us? Like, what else is she? And it's like, oh. The rest is super mud, but still, like anticipation. Yeah, kind of was a little down a little bit, but it was. I mean, it's good to know that she has um, Shepherd and Doberman. Yeah, that's crazy though. Mm. I don't know if like it's exactly the breakdown, like grandparent parent version. No, I mean they don't. They just kind sure. of guess as close. As but yeah, that's really cool. That's cool. Well, that was fun finding it out. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and, uh, check out our other videos on our channel. And have you guys ever done one of the DNA test things? If you have, have like, what have your results been? Share in the comments and let us know, um, how it went for you guys. If you were surprised like we were to find out that she has no, I mean, technically Belgian Malinois is like a shepherd, a type of shepherd. They were right in that she was some kind of shepherd. She is a shepherd, but she's just... And that's like the majority of what she is. But yeah, I was kind of surprised there's nothing Belgian Malinois e, yeah. e in her. But um, still very shepherdy. She's Doberman. But, part well, Doberman. Part, but more German Shepherd. Anyways, mm -hmm. let us know in the comments um, how this went for you guys. Or if you did the Embark test or a different one. Or if you've compared them and what you thought. Okay, so Derek had a good thought. He said, why don't we Google German Shepherd Doberman pincher mix if that's how you say pincher pincher but anyways um and we are going to do that and see okay. what they look like german shepherd doberman mix mm. oh. interesting that looks like more she is more she, she is definitely more, is more shepherd. Uh, shepherd than doberman let's see she's very smart but also very dumb <laughs> <laughs> but they're both smart dog no one's a fat one Look at this. Okay, there are relatives. Let's see, Sarge, whoever Sarge is. I wonder if there are pictures. Oh. Bernadette's dog. lot more relatives than I was thinking we would see on here. Turns okay. out she's related to all the dogs in America. Yeah. Seriously. Okay, so we just found Abby and Rogers. Hmm. Yay. Cute. I wonder if it's a grandparent or something. Maybe. Molly's dog, let's see where it started out at. Wait, why does it, it have not have the circles around it? Oh. This one doesn't have the circles. Maybe they're not Did you have to click breed. on something else earlier? Oh, 100%. Maybe it is 100% German Shepherd. <laughs> you say you want to go outside and play? Please, please, not that door. Let's go out the other door. 